Hey Whispers, I'm sorry for not uploading for a while, but I'm back with the new series. Last video I left you three choices on three possible let's plays, and it was pretty close, but in the end Gone Home had more votes, so we're gonna start that series. First of all, I wanted to thank all of the new subscribers and welcome you to the channel, and I'm glad you guys like what I do. So again, thank you. there we go so first off I want to tell you guys this this is not a jump scare game so don't worry <laughs> don't have to be scared that something's suddenly gonna jump out or scare you even though sometimes it seemed like it this is just like some of those games but this one isn't don't worry. Full Bright Company presents. Hi, Mom. Uh, so I got my ticket home from Europe. I get back on June 6th, but it's a really late flight because that was the cheapest, so it gets in at midnight. But don't worry, I'll get a shuttle from the airport so you don't have to pick me up. Like, really seriously, you don't have to. Okay, so love you. See you soon. <laughs> Bye. June 7th, 1995. Let's see, this is all. Hmm. Caitlin Greenbrier, Portland. So that's my name, I guess. It's pretty hard. Let's open some cabinets. Oops. Okay, yeah, turn on some light. Let's see. Christmas decorations and a duck. $5.99. Oh, what's that? Oh. <laughs> House key added. Oops. Katie, I'm sorry I can't be there to see you, but it's impossible. Please, please do don't go digging around and try to find out where I am. I don't want anyone, mom and dad, to know. We'll see each other again someday. Don't be worried. I love you, Sam. Don't be worried. <laughs> that will worry me if I will see it. Who's Sam? Oh, that seems like, um, Terrence Greenbrier, let's start. Terrence, oh, it's Dear like some Katie, kind of movie. So much has changed, even just since you've been away. We moved into this house. I'm at a new school. And my big sister being gone for a year doesn't make it any easier. It doesn't feel real. But I'm not gonna let it phase me. I used to tell you everything, and if I can't do it in person, because you're off gallivanting around who knows where, I'll tell it to this journal, just like I was talking to you. Hmm. Journal. Keep them. They're getting so much changed. Who is this? Wait, big sister? Huh. Well, that's good. Let's turn on some lights. Oops. It's a book. Or a magazine, I mean. Okay. 
Can I flush this? <laughs> it really does. It's kind of fun. Hmm, I'm not sure what I'm looking for, so I'm not gonna like go through all the detailed things because there's a lot laying around. Because I can pick everything up, like look at it. So I'm gonna see if I can follow the main line, lines of the story. Direction to work from the home. Travel time, 10 minutes. Hmm. Doesn't seem that important. Hmm. What's in here? Oh. Come on, open. Janice Greenbrier. Is, is that the mom or something? Looks like it. Oh, <laughs> that's just a puzzle for a game. It's a game. Oops. I I'm just gonna leave every light on. <laughs> it makes me feel more comfortable. really dark. Oh. Dear Jan, still good to hear from you again. All this new house business sounds like quite the adventure. Hmm. Right back soon. I miss you, Rumi, Carol. Okay, I don't know if it's relevant, but Carol was the roommate of the mom. Let's Phone books. We don't even have those anymore. I'm like kind of lost to where to look, but I'm just gonna try to not get too much into detail and still not miss things. Timetable. Katie's departure. 94. Has she been away for a year or what was it? Yeah. Because it was like June 5th or something. To Amsterdam. It's fancy. <laughs> Another phone book. They have a lot of phone books. Oh, a message. That's kind of creepy. Can we play other messages? I don't know. It doesn't really seem like it. That's the... Oh. <laughs> That's the message again. Sam, Daniel from the old neighborhood called. He wants to come to see the new house. Really 
that was the same message that she left or that I left so they never received it because they didn't um, they didn't listen it back yet okay let's focus Daniel from the old neighborhood called he wants to come see new house call him back mom Daniel is a total weirdo <laughs> The only reason I ever hung out with him in the first place is he had a Nintendo. Okay. Oh, pictures. Let's see. Sam. Okay, so that's her sister, right? Yeah. Katie, that's me. Mom is Jen. Yeah, that's the lady on the picture in the closet. And Dad, Terry. Well, let's try to remember that. Lights on, come on. There we go, we don't want to be in the dark. Light on again, what's this? It's like a backpack. We hope that you're exci as excited about your first day at Goodfellow High School as we are. Please be sure. Okay, it's a little list. Start folder, line up. Looks like she had it here and everything. Please remember to get plenty of sleep the night before. Oh god. See you soon and again welcome. Oh my god. You are so lucky you finished high school before we moved into this house. So, it's the first day of school. And there I am, introducing myself to the class. And I say that I just moved into the house on Arbor Hill. All of a sudden, every kid in the room turns and just stares like I suddenly transformed into a mutant. I just stood there, pushing pretty hard for a rewind button. Because now maybe nobody knows my name, but they all know who I am. The Psycho House Girl. Great. <laughs> Psycho House. Well, that's reassuring. Mom and Dad, Mom and Dad. Oh, that's like um, a card for me. Well, that's nice. What's this? Oh, the picture. Who's that? Oh, that looks like Sam. What kind of uniform is that? Huh. I don't know. Oscar Mason, 60, of Boone County, died peacefully last month in his home. Was born on September 8th. Pharmacy returned to Boone. Hmm. His survivors include his nephew Terrence Greenbrier. What's the dad's name again? Terry? Terrence? As well as in spirit the people of Boone County to whom he provided wellness and comfort. So that's... Dad's uncle? Oh, weird. Let's get in here. Oh, dark. A nice little office. Nope. Get on. We want you on. We want all the lights on. Come here. <laughs> oh, what's this? JFK. What? Early. S JFK president? What if JFK wasn't JFK? Wow, obsessed much? I don't... I don't know. Oh. <laughs> JFK book. Okay, so the... I guess this, the, this is the dad's office. I don't know. 
kind of looks like oh I was hoping there was like a safe behind it oh okay Is that a bottle of liquor? Another telephone book. <laughs> Man, these people. Let's see, Terrence Greenbrier. Yeah, that's the dad's office. Wiring in house is technically up to safety. Oh, uh, uh, that's like an inspection form. See, I don't know which information is relevant and which is not, so. I'm not gonna like read through everything because I'm gonna be busy the entire <laughs> time just reading stuff that is not relevant and I don't want to do that like this I don't know what to do with that the male gaze how to survive it it's not that hard is it Accidental. Oh, that's another JFK thing. Oh, oops. Japan's bloody war. And yeah, let's <laughs> let's not look into that. Stranger under my roof. Huh. Funny. I think it's kind of cool that they yeah. They use real books. Hold on. Zero four five one. Let's remember that. Dear Terence, David asked me to write you regarding the reviews. Thank you for becoming more troubled than they're worth from an editing standpoint. There is a word limit. It's your job to stay under it. Hmm. I'm giving you one more shot on this on this city, so you should write him a nice note thanking him for his patience. Look through your old stuff and start submitting reviews like that again. Okay, so the dad is like a reviewer. Zero four five one. Let's try that on the on the other safe. Wait, let's try that. Oops, oh, sorry. Okay. There, Mr. Mason. Mr. Mason. Who's Mr. Mason? Please find and close your original document and type copy for your records. Mr. Oscar, oh wait, that's the guy um, who died. I, Oscar Mason, possessing full competence of mind and memory, and after full survey of valued items to my name, do hereby declare this document my last will and testament. Wait, I do hereby every item of value of which I may die possessed including the dwelling and surrounding acres located at Arbor Hill as well as any and all personal property and money that counts to my nephew wow Terence Greenbrier yeah that's so dad So he left like all this stuff to his nephew. But who is it? And where are the parents? And where's Sam? So on that mystery I'm gonna end this episode. If you liked it then please leave a like so I will know. And if you saw anything that I missed or have any ideas, then please leave that below in the comments. I would really like to solve this mystery together. And if you've already played the game or know how it goes, then please be so kind to not leave spoilers. I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next video and playing another part of Gone Home together.
Until then, remember, stay relaxed, take care, bye-bye. <laughs>